Howdy, celibacy. It's a choice in life. Walter and Anne, they recently attended a marriage encounter weekend, and the fellow that put it on, he was asking questions of all the men, and he said, it is so important that you know what's uh, going on with your wife. I mean, what's her favorite color? What's her this and what's her that? And finally, he came to Walter, and he said, what's your wife's favorite flower? He said, well, I know that. He leaned over, and he whispered in Anne's ear, and he said, everybody knows that I know. It's Robin Hood, right? And so began his life of celibacy. See, it's a choice. You know, America is on breakdown. Y'all got to have humor to start your day because as the day progresses, you're like a polar bear. That's my way of saying bipolar to the normal guy that isn't diagnosed, right? You're up and down all day like a toilet seat at a mixed party. You know, it's just that way. I'm that way because there's so many good things and bad things throughout the day. You go home and, oh, what happened here? And that's going on in America. The left is trying so hard to make everything miserable and they're kind of winning right now. And poor Mr. Trump, you know what? He He's on the uh, defensive and he should be on the offensive and everybody's fighting and they're forgetting about what should be going on. Anyway, I digress. Let me kind of get to some cases in point. Nashville mayor, he says to people, hey, a couple of weeks ago I was giving you citations if you left your house because you didn't social distance and now I want you all to join hands and come on outside and protest. You can burn the odd building too if you like, if it makes you smile. Bad, bad behavior, these mayors. And now you have the uh, city council, most members of the city council in Minneapolis where this stuff started, right? <clears throat> They're saying we have to have radical changes. We need to get rid of the law enforcement. Let's dismantle the police department. Really? Dismantle the police department? You can't make this stuff up. Let's replace it with a transformative new model for public safety. And of course, in it, we need to dismantle white supremacy. It's always about white, right? I, I mean, wow, they just don't like us white folk. I mean, that's craziness. Get rid of the police. What would happen? Let's drill down on that. If you get rid of the police, what's going to happen? There's a Second Amendment. The good guys are not going to put up with this stuff. I'm okay if there's no police. I'd rather shoot a bad guy than call the police anyway. That's my preference, and that's going to happen. So now you think you just got a couple of guys getting shot now and again. It's going to escalate dramatically because you have no law and order, because people are looking after themselves. Many won't, but many will. And those who can't or won't, they'll hire little militant groups to look after them. And now you got a country like the Philippines and so many other places, similar places, it's dumb. And then in Washington, D.C., the mayor there, she's saying, no more curfews and all you National Guard guys get out of here and President Trump don't interfere with me. It's kind of like her city, kind of his city too, but she's saying, so what? I mean, there's not an issue here. People want to riot, they can riot, burn the old building, make some smile. Seattle, you have a mayor there, she's white. I say that because she's a Democrat, white, Democrat, dumb, all kind of goes together. She took to Twitter just the other day and she said this. This is so bizarre, this stuff. Seattle's a wonderful city. And the city council, wow, I mean, they're just goofs. They're commie, commie, commie people. I want, this is her talking now, not me. I want to acknowledge that much of the violence and destruction, both here in Seattle and across the country, has been instigated and perpetuated by white men. <laughs> that white people experience the height of privilege. Well then, why don't you move into a black neighborhood in Detroit and enjoy the rest of your time, you dumb broad. I mean, that's just not accurate stuff. I mean, they're focusing on little things trying to disrupt because they're good points, they're hot points, they're buttons, right? And, and people are reacting to that. I didn't know I was a racist till the government told me. I mean, leave us alone for heaven's sakes. And then you got guys like Stockwell Day in Canada. He says, oh, all I said was there's no racism in Canada and I was bullied when I was a kid and now, People are giving me pushback, so I've got to apologize now. Uh, you know, what? We need men. I remember men were men and women are glad they were. He didn't say anything bad. I've really drilled out on this and read everything he said with nothing. And you got TELUS and you got law firms and everyone saying, get away from us now. Wow. I mean, this just is berserk what's going on. Stand up and don't apologize. It's a sign of weakness unless you really did something bad. Is it bad to say there's no real racism in Canada? I got news for you. There isn't. They got idiots like Trudeau, and I call him that. You know what? That's not nice when you call a leader that. But he took the knee the other day. That's, that's a sign of disrespect for the American flag. That's how it originated. Now I guess they're trying to roll it into the Black Lives Matter things. What are we going to do for white lives? You know, this whole thing is aggravating. Leave us alone. 
and we'll be fine, us humanoids. We're colorblind. You got protesters that uh, they're spreading the, the uh, coronavirus now. There is uh, 4,430 deaths in the United States in the past few days. And, and these are mostly caused, they say, from protesters who are unmasked. And, and of course, you have governors and, and mayors, the governor of uh, Minnesota and other people saying, hey, you guys, when you're burning down buildings, do you have the decency to wear a mask and, and stand you know, six feet apart? Good grief. Here's a new mask that's uh, been designed for, I don't know, good guys, bad guys, everybody. Have a look at this one. This is cute. <laughs> I guess if you have to wear a mask, you might as well have the conveniences of home. Hey, y'all come back tomorrow. See ya.